You know, if you want to head inside to see some really interesting art, beautiful artwork, Dennis Deuce, he's been in studio with us before, but it's been a while. He's an interesting copper artist, and he actually pieces the copper together. So you get different looks, and even if you're not into copper, I swear you're going to want to be, because you can get everything from a bracelet to a huge lizard for on your wall. So Dennis Deuce in studio with us. Dennis, how are you? Doing great. Now this piece, I want you to hold it up first, because I'm just, I'm blown away by this lizard. I absolutely... I think this is phenomenal. I just came back from Costa Rica where I was just loving the iguanas and the lizards. So when I see something like this, and for Carolyn coming from Phoenix, this is right up her alley. Yeah, that was, this one is a commission. Uh -huh. um, the, the client fell in love with my artwork and wanted specifically something that looked like a lizard. Well, I mean, her email is lizard mama. Uh, at, so she I likes won't explain them. the re rest of it, but she loves lizards. So I made this piece specifically for her. Um, didn't tell her that I was going to incorporate the lizard love, but uh, you know she she was ecstatic. Oh, I'm sure she was. With the piece. Um, now let's talk about yourself, though. I mean, obviously you do commission pieces, but mm -hmm. you do interesting pieces that you just come up with on your own. Uh huh. Yeah, I um, I kind of call them my sanity pieces. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, helps you out a little bit. <laughs> exactly. As an artist, we all have our thing. You got to work through your process, and you know right. those kinds of things. So you know, this one here was. Um, this was a combination sanity piece. It was actually made for my wife. It was her uh, Mother's Day gift. Um, and uh, well, this is so simple. This reminds me of something that could almost go in any home. Mm -hmm. Whether you had that mountain home or the contemporary home, it could fit pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it really could. And a lot of my pieces, I, I try and incorporate that uh, flexibility where you know it, it can go in multiple homes. If you go on my website to the page, art all of it, you can kind of scroll down. There's just a lot of different um, pieces, a, d a lot of different views, um, you know, and so there are things that are very contemporary and things more mountain home. This one here that's up is extremely contemporary. Yeah. Um, How beautiful would that look, though, in a home which is where you don't have a lot of things on the wall and you just, that's your masterpiece. That was a cu custom commission, actually, was it? for a mid century modern. Very contemporary, very clean lines. This was another sanity piece um, that I did, just trying to work out some processes on some things. <laughs> <laughs> That's a piece. So it's probably a good thing when you're a little bit rocky. Mm -hmm. You know, we just send you in and you create these incredible masterpieces. Yeah. Why not? This, create some drama. This piece here is actually down at the Springville Art Museum right now. Um, Which you were lucky to get in. Yeah, there were 1,064 entries into this show. 215 people got in Spring Salon. It's running for another month and a half Congratulations. down there. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, great show. This is a piece that's up in Idaho. I've got a gallery up there that represents me. Um, freestanding as well as the piece in the back is mine. Um, that's that same freestanding outside as I was working on it. Do you know one thing I think I like about your artwork is it's, I mean, all earth tones, obviously, as we're working mm -hmm. with the copper, but it speaks, I mean, it's very loud in the same sense. You know, mm -hmm. it can be very, very loud, or it could be simple like this, but I think even though it has those earth tones, I mean, you look at this piece right now, you obviously separated that and created this incredible contemporary piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that one was actually built specifically for an, an alcove that has that same shape, but it had a very expensive tile back to it and they didn't want to hide the tile back but they wanted art in the alcove. Now um, how is it when you're piecing copper together? I mean as opposed to like taking a big slab and just making a masterpiece of it, you're taking different pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally I'm actually taking if um, copper, if we can go back on camera, um, this is a, just a piece of roofing material. Um, that's what I work from. It's all scrap from I mean, roofing. it is scrap. As this you look is, on the front, I is, mean, it looks. This is a tail. It was it was run out of the machine too long, and it it's a tail. That's what I'm working from, and, and this was just done to show different things. Like right here, that is a chemical. Uh, it's extremely smelly um, liver of sulfur. This is a heat process down in this point right here, and then if you flip it over, that's another chemical process. Um, and you can see, I mean, looking at that, you're going, how are you going to work with something like this metal? A lot of people would look at that and probably go, it's scrap, I don't ever want to use it. Mm -hmm. But you take it, and I think that's what the best part is, though. You're getting all these different colors. I mean, looking at these two standing um, pieces, you know, you get all these different colors, but it really gives it a different feel than just the copper look. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's just um, 
you know, kind of a design thing. I just love shape and dimension, and so that's really what I'm playing with. And, and I would just cut this into strips, one direction or the other, uh -huh. and then I'd cut strips from another piece in another direction, and, and that would be the, you know, that's how I would weave it together. And sometimes my scraps are right. too small, and I have to build the piece out of multiple pieces. and Which is so neat. Dennis, what came first? Were you working with Nilco Roofing and then thought, you know what, I want to be an artist, or were you an artist and thought, I need to get the materials, so I'm going to work for Nilco Roofing. Which one came first? Um, Nilco Roofing. I, I, I had Which, tell them what that is, just in case they don't know. Nilco Roofing is um, a Salt Lake and Park City uh, roofing company. We specialize in uh, residential re-roofs, um, ice dam mitigation, um, you know, uh, we've, we've got our own patented snow melt system for dealing with ice dams. Um, we're just really, we're, we're a mountain roofing company. Um, so you were doing the roofing and then to control your sanity, mm -hmm. you got into the artwork? Kind of, yeah. Really what happened is walking by the cans, garbage cans full of scrap copper for years just kind of got to me. I'm like, there's got to be something I can do with it. And I first just started taking home pieces and, and playing around with heat and playing around with chemicals. Mm -hmm. And then one day I went, well, what if I weaved them? And What does it take to weave copper? I mean, it's not the most flexible no. material. No. So what is this taking you to weave? I mean, I look at that lizard or even these ones that are circular. It looks like you're definitely putting some work in. Yeah, there, it's actually a lot of physical work. Oh, I'm upper sure. body, upper body so work. So you're telling me I wouldn't be good at this job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line. Yeah, it, it's definitely, uh, even though I'm not getting in shape because there's no aerobic to it. Um, my, uh, but my you've arms got muscle. My, my, yeah, my Maybe arms I should get into this. Shoulders. I'm trying to tone my arms. <laughs> can, you, can you hire me? There you go. Um, yeah, it's just I, I will usually pin the piece down to the table um, and then and alternate the first piece. And then I pull everything that's going to go over the next one towards me. And put so in the next strip, uh -huh. and then push all of that down and pull hard against it, creating oh, tension yeah, to get I the next piece. How I and would, so, yeah. I, you know, I go, it's literally weaving without a loom. I've created the loom by binding the copper to so the table. So you didn't do any sort of class or anything? You just started getting into it and kind of created it on your own? Mm -hmm. Which I think is so interesting. I think a lot of artists start that way. They just start experimenting. We love supporting our local artists. So people can see you online. They can see you down at the Springville Museum, mm -hmm. which is um, not too far. It's what, maybe 45 minutes from here? Mm, it's almost a Provo. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's so about an hour drive, but again, one of 215 artists you said that actually got in to this exhibit? Yep, and there's a couple of other uh, Park City artists in there as well. Um, and it's just, it is a great show, well worth driving down there. It's the probably the most important art show in Utah nice. every year. Well, congratulations for getting into that. Dennis, again, if they want to contact you to find out what, you know, see one of your pieces and buy them as you have them or commission something, how do they contact you? Um, the easiest way is just to jump on my website, which is numbersbyduce.com. Um, or if you're on Facebook, I've got a fan page. Just put in Numbers by Deuce um, and become a fan. I'd love that. Um, you have incredible pieces. You really do. I mean, that lizard. <laughs> I'm thinking for anybody that just loves lizards, Carolyn needs to put that in a home in Phoenix, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. You could get anything you wanted. Again, this is Dennis Deuce. Check out his website. Incredible artist. And I love to hear your story, how you just really, you just, you did it because you wanted to. So look where you're at today. Dennis, thanks again. It was good to see you. I'm Thank sure we'll you. have you back on again soon.